okay so coming to the actual uh, grading of the dashboard dysfunction the normal dashboard dysfunction mild dashboard dysfunction moderate dashboard dysfunction severe dashboard dysfunction in term it is also called as mild dashboard dysfunction is also remembered as impaired relaxation moderate dashboard dysfunction is pseudo normal where the mitral lympho pattern becomes as good as normal and the severe dashboard dysfunction is further divided into reversible restrictive and fixed restrictive depending on the changes of the mitral inflow pattern to the valsalva maneuver so here we will get into the what is the normal mitral inflow inflow usually the e velocity and the a velocity the e will be more than a so the ratio will be more than 0.75 but less than 1.5 that is e is not more than two times the a but it is not less than the a and this is the a duration that is very important because the a duration we will calculate with the ar duration of the pulmonary venous flow the difference is we calculate so this is what is the deceleration time is more than 140 millisecond that is the normal mitral inflow that is calculated by the cursor being put on the uh, the um, the pulse doppler being put on the mitral inflow in the impaired relaxation what happens is there is a e by a dash more than point five, e by e by a uh, less than 0.75 in a way the atrial kick there is a impaired relaxation so the atrial kick becomes more prominent the atria will be functioning more when compared to the early filling because the early filling is not much happening because the uh, there is impaired relaxation and the volume of blood which can be uh, filled inside the ventricle during the early filling will be less and so the atria would have to do a more work that is the e by a ratio becomes less than 0.75 that is the early filling that is the impaired relaxation only impaired in grade one once again the pseudo normal you will get a e more than a because once the uh, filling pressure becomes uh, uh, fixed the early filling once again becomes uh, once again starts increasing because the la dilates and the la starts accumulating more blood and in the early filling it will send more blood on a increased pressure so here once again the pressures they will be the parameters will be same as then the normal it becomes pseudo normal when the adr air duration may decrease and we can compare it with the valsalva maneuver to actually differentiate the pseudo normal from the impaired relaxation we can get it to the impaired relaxation mode when we get the valsalva maneuver and this is the pseudo normal will be same as the normal when the mitral inflow is taken when nothing else has been considered and then once again in the restrictive mode the e by a ratio is once again more than 15 very important e becomes more more upright than the a it is more than 1.5 times the uh, a duration and the deceleration time becomes less than 140 and also fixed restrictive in the normal uh, breathing both will be same e by a will be more than 1.5 and deceleration time will be less than 140 millisecond